Hello everyone, in today's video I will explain how to use litmaps. This is the basically the interface of the litmaps and after signing up and signing in you will see this. I always suggest creating a different workspace. To do that let's click here. As you see by default this uh, you will have one workspace. If you are working on multiple projects, you can create a different workspace for that so you can organize your search results in that very workspace. So to test it, let's create one new workspace, I call it. As you can see, now this is the uh, selected one. You can also see the name of it here, the new workspace. And you can also navigate among them, but I will keep I, I will select the new workspace and after doing that let's go to your library part as I clicked here then create a collection. Creating collection is a nice feature because you can organize your papers. I really like that. So I call it new collection and done. We created our first collection. There is no article here. You can import your uh, articles with bib text file for example if you are using Zotero which I use or any other citation management program you can export the list of your sources and then you can import that list here but this time I am assuming that we are doing the the research from start and then I go and search for articles let's click here so you see this is the search bar and I type uh, let's say just simply impact of um, climate change I really like this question to test it because it gives uh, nice results but you can also test with your own question and with your own keywords the impact of climate change on human mobility I just want to show you how you can visualize your uh, papers so I'm going to select all of them by clicking on this button here uh, this button and so 20 of the articles were selected. Now I click on continue. As you can see, now they are added to my collection. Now I have 20 selected articles, 20 articles in my um, collection. So I can use one of them as my seed article. So I will briefly explain what does that mean. So you can select one article as your seed and then let the lead maps to find more articles based on that articles. For that, I am going to use the articles with more citations. In order to do that, I am going to click on citations here and the recent and future climate change on vector borne diseases. So it has 334. This is a good one to be a seed article. And I'm going to select that one. And when you select that one, you can see the name of the authors. You can see this. DOI number, digital object identifier number, and abstract. Of course, you can read it. You can, again, uh, in order to be sure that this is the article that you can use your as seed article. Before continuing our tutorial, I want to inform you about our webinar, which we conducted together with Professor Leonard Nake. Now it is available. The recording of this webinar is available for everyone. You can check the link in the description you can check the website where we covered different strategies, tactics and methods how we can leverage the power of AI tools for academic processes and we also covered with clear use cases different AI tools there. Please check the link in the description. So after deciding that you can click this uh, seed map button here and when we do that as you can see Litmaps created a map for us. This is like this links between the articles. On the left hand, heads, left hand side, you will see, so the, our seed article is here. On the left hand side, the article written before our selected article. So our selected article uh, is citing them. And the articles in the right hand side are the article that is citing, that is referring to our seed article. So. Basically, this is the article we selected. So if you click on it, then you will see it again. So this is a nice map. I really do like seeing the connection, the 
interrelations between the articles I have, the internal relations, let's say, between the articles. It's a nice way to see to see that because sometimes maybe you after reading multiple the number of articles you really lose the track of the articles which article size which one or in order to find more articles connected to your article then this feature is very nice because when you click on uh, you hover over for example let's say of this article here you see in the name and if you click on it you can see the details the references the cited by the number of the citations and also you read abstract and you can also if you click this source button you can also directly navigate to the original source so that's basically creating a seed map and apart from that you can also do this uh, you can also find more articles related to your search so for that let's click on this button here discover 20 more related articles and here continue as you can see it found more articles related to my previous search in order to define whether we need to add these articles to our collection as well then you can click on the articles you can read the abstract i usually like to read the abstract to define whether i need to add this article to my collection then if you decide that yes i want this to add to my collection then click on this add search button as you see now it says add it to my collection and i close this and then i click finish found one so that's basically lit maps you can use it for your research and sometimes it's nice to visualize also you can use it to find new papers you can add your collection and you can export it again you can uh, import this exported list of articles to your citation management system or program thank you for your attention if you like this video please hit like button thank you in advance for that and if you want to see more videos from my channel please consider subscribing hit that subscribe button over there as well